Hello, sports fans, and welcome to Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Recap Show. I'm sorry I didn't get to do a pregame show. Um, I had to work, but hopefully next Thursday you will get one for next Thursday's game. But you'll get a recap show, and we'll recap last night's game between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the New Orleans Saints. And uh, and uh, uh, we will talk about what I thought, my thoughts about it. And uh, uh, but first, here is today's Scott Sports One on Thursday Night Football Week Seven, uh, pre- Week Seven uh, trivia question. It's a Jacksonville uh, Jaguars trivia question. Who was the Jaguars' first ever draft pick, and which pick was he? I'll have the answer uh, later on the podcast. Uh, Travis uh, Etain ran for uh, two touchdowns, and Forsyth O'Clune returned an interception for a score, and Christian Kirk's 44-yard touchdown, and after a short catch over the middle, lifted the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, to a 31-24 victory over the New Orleans Saints on Thursday night. Uh, Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence uh, returned from a sprained knee that forced him out of the final minutes of a victory over the over Indianapolis on Sunday, and wound up uh, leading Jacksonville f- uh, five uh, uh, five uh, and two carries with a uh, with fifty nine yards rushing and. He also completed 20 of 29 passes for 204 yards and one touchdown to help the Jags win their fourth straight and give Jacksonville the best start, its best start, uh, since opening uh, five and two, or the record is five and two, excuse me, uh, in 2007. Kirk's touchdown broke uh, the tie with the 308 left. The Saints, uh, who are now three and four, they dropped between a four one position to answer when they drove inside the Jacksonville 10 in the final minute, but uh, stalled out with four straight and incomplete passes. Uh, a third down pass bounced off of New Orleans native Foster uh, Moriu's hands in the back of the end zone, and a fourth down timing. Uh, throw to uh, Chris Olive along the left sideline, fell incomplete, ending the comeback bid. Uh, the uh, when Jacksonville gave the Saints numerous chances to stay in the game, losing two fumbles in the first half and committing several uh, untimely penalties throughout the game. It almost came back to haunt them. The Saints rallied from 24 uh, down 24 to nine, down to the tie. Uh, the game uh, to tie the game on touchdowns by Tyson Hill and one uh, yard fourth down and run. And Michael Thomas on a 17 yard reception. The later, the latter followed uh, by Derek Carr's pass to Alvin Kamara's Alvin Kamara for a two point conversion. Car- Carr finished with 33 of 55 carries and attempts for uh, 301 yards, and New Orleans uh, outgained Jacksonville 407 yards to 330. But the Saints again struggled to finish uh, promising drives in the end zone after losing a similar in similar fashion in Week Six at Houston. Uh, after practicing on a limited basis uh, this week. And being listed as questionable, Lawrence completed five of his first six passes for 60 yards and even scrambled for nine yards during a game-opening touchdown uh, drive that ended with uh, Etienne's two-yard run uh, with uh, Blake uh, uh, Groups missed 51-yard field goal. uh, But the Saints got the ball uh, right back when uh, Kirk was uh, stripped by uh, quarterback uh, Paulson uh, Adebo uh, after a uh, 19-yard catch at the New Orleans 40. Defensive end Carl uh, Granderson, who was chasing the play, recovered for New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans punted three plays later, but Jacksonville turned it over. Uh, 
uh, again, when uh, uh, Tavon Campbell, who was trying to block uh, block uh, uh, Collin at hard with uh, returner Jamal uh, Agnew as uh, uh, Lou Headley's punt descended and hit Campbell's back. Lonnie Johnson recovered to New for New Orleans, which stalled the Jaguars uh, on the five on the Jaguars five and settled for a group's field goal. Uh, Atini became the first player in Jaguars history to rush for two touchdowns in three consecutive games when he ran around the left and, and for a 17-yard score that made it 14 to three. Uh, after that, uh, after their seven, after their seven third down failure of the half, the Saints settled for another field goal, for another group field goal, and uh, to make it fourteen to six in the final minutes of the half, Jacksonville converted a fake punt with punter Logan Cook completing a thirteen yard pass to Tim Jones on fourth and setting up Brandon McManus, uh, McManus's forty three yard field goal for a seventeen to six halftime lead. And, uh, but it was the, uh, there were some injuries. Jacksonville safety Andre uh, Cisco uh, received attention on the field late in the third quarter, but was able to walk off uh, on his own. Saints uh, car appeared to finish the game in pain, but uh, it was not immediately clear what was uh, ailing him. Uh, Alante uh, uh, Taylor left the game briefly in the first quarter with an apparent cut on his nose and returned but uh the Jacksonville Jaguars they get the win and they beat the Saints 31 to 24 next up Jacksonville travels to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers uh, next Sunday and the Saints visit Indianapolis on October 29th next Sunday so I will give the game balls to the Jaguars in just a moment but right now, it's time to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 Week 7 Thursday Night Football NFL Trivia Question. That's a Jaguars uh, trivia question. Question. Who was the Jaguars' first ever draft pick, and which pick was, was he? You said, if you said Tony Bazzelli, uh, you are correct. He, and he was second. He was the second pick. Tony Bazzelli was drafted out of USC. I will have another trivia question on my next podcast, so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, and right now, I'm going to give out the game balls to uh, the Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence, 29 of uh, 20 of 29 carries an attempt, 204 yards, one touchdown, and no interceptions. Uh, t- uh, Travis. Uh, uh, Italian, uh, uh, two touchdowns, 14 attempts, 53 yards, and Christian Kirk, six receptions, 90, 90 yards, one touchdown. So this is one of those games that seesawed back and forth, but the Saints did struggle. But Jacksonville, their game was just right on the money last night. And I took New Orleans and lost, and my brother-in-law took uh, Jacksonville, and he won. So he's 1-0, and, and I am 0-1. Now, uh, we've got some great games Sunday. Detroit at ba- at Baltimore, and I got a hunch Detroit's going to get the win on the road. Uh, uh, And uh, Cleveland uh, plays the Colts on Sunday in Indianapolis. And Baker Mayfield and the Bucks, they will be uh, back home. They'll be home again to take on Atlanta, the Falcons. Uh, and uh, Sun- uh, the Chargers take on the Chiefs in a late game. Doozy of a Sunday night game. Miami and Philly, that should be a doozy of a game. Um. And Monday Night Football, the uh, San Francisco 49ers and the Minnesota Vikings. And next Thursday to kick off week eight, we'll have Baker Mayfield, the Tampa Bay Bucks, to face the Buffalo Bills, which would be a great game. And so, uh, but uh, the uh, the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars get the win over the New Orleans Saints. 
Uh, by the final score of 31 to 24. Well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 uh, Thursday night football uh, post game show and recap show. I'll be back with the uh, Scott Sports 101 uh, uh, NFL football uh, early game uh, pregame show on Sunday and everything else. But until then, always remember it be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.